Hello everyone, Alexander from City Gazing here. And today I'm in Long Island City. It's Friday, March 1st. It's a really pleasant weather today. And I'll be telling you about this another non touristy place here in New York. The studio that I just showed you is the place where they filmed Sopranos and Sex in the City. But it was not always been, it has not always been the studio where people shoot films and TV series. It was bakery once. It was such a popular bakery that the name Silver Cup was used by other companies like Silver Cup Meats and Silver Cup Fruits. They were creating their organizations here because that was one of the biggest enterprises here. But eventually that bakery, because of the union strikes, became just an abandoned building. And this building was bought and later reconstructed into the studios where people shoot films. You can see all the new buildings that are rising here and this neighborhood is developing quickly. Long Island City is the place where Queens has the most, the biggest amount of skyscrapers. I will show you a couple of places, we'll comment on what I see and we'll be happy to read your comments and we'll answer your questions. The part where I am right now is mostly industrial. You will not find a ton of apartment buildings in this part, but you will find some restaurants like this Indian restaurant, or you can see a couple of the hotels. You can see that high rise in the back. They got a rooftop there, so you can go and see how Manhattan skyline looks like. If you will go a little bit away from the Queensboro Bridge and the subway line, it's very quiet. The neighborhood called Long Island City because it was a separate city right until the time when Queens joined the New York City. So it was an incorporated city right here. I want to show you one funny thing. I've never seen it ever before. You can see it says property line R L I C Realty LLC. So basically you cannot go there because that's someone's private property. I have never seen anything like this in any other place. You can see a trailer here, 
and there is a guy who lives here and he has a ton of cats usually they're outside but currently they can't see any it stays here for a couple of years at least so this guy is not moving anywhere And as I was telling you that New York is built on the rocks, you can see that it's truth. Because here is a piece of rock, like that, I don't know why they left it here, but it is how it is. When it's warmer, children are playing here. And uh, yeah, they never moved it. And here we got kind of a plaza where you can buy some food, grab some drinks and all this space is usually filled with people when it's warmer. The population of this neighborhood is 60,000 people. Here you can see an Indian place and a pizza place. You can see that Queens also has their scaffoldings. In this case, the other side of the street would not help me. They have it on both sides. I think that I forgot to say what time is it? It's 3, sorry, 4 p.m. You can see Manhattan skyscrapers in the background, but we'll get there. We'll go to the river bank and I'll show you how it looks like. trees are not green just yet but hopefully in two or three weeks it will be a much better looking street Here is a place where you will see a ton of food trucks, especially at night. 
because that's where you can rent a food truck. And as I said, this part is mostly industrial, but it will change just in a few blocks. You can see that there is a rider agency and they got like a ton of trucks on their territory here, like at the parking. And they just rent it out to move things. Honkin, as always, nothing new. This is probably the best spot to watch fireworks on 4th of July. Not a lot of people know about this place, but if you go down there, you'll have access to the river bank and you can see the fireworks from there. This antique shop. And you can see from this side how the skyscrapers in Long Island City look like. It's not all of them, but that's the space near the Queensboro Plaza. This sign says that it's New York City Greenway, Queens East River. And we are heading there. This is one of the main streets in the neighborhood called Vernon Boulevard. That's where you see a lot of traffic here. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is New York Blood Center. So that's the place where they store blood. And right here is another moving agency. Some creepy graffitis. This is Halloween in LAC.
you can find a ton of restaurants on this street if you'll go further that way. But for now we'll not be doing that. We'll head to the East River. These are city bikes, you've probably seen it multiple times all across New York. Basically you can just pay for a bike and you have 45 minutes ride for, I don't know what's the current price, maybe three bucks. So yeah, you can use that when you are here as a tourist or if you need to go to the work or something like this and this is the place where a lot of outside events are happening when it's warmer but I think they already started doing something but every summer there is much much more happening there And you can see this yellow sign says set. It means that movie set is somewhere that way. And some holding, I don't know what holding is, but yeah. I think that we will see more signs about the movie filming here in a bit. You can see there are some high rises here at the riverbank. And let's see what they are filming here. All right, so yeah, they're filming a project named Harlem. And they got more here. I will not read all of that, but they are filming Harlem season 3. You can pause the video and see what's written there. But probably it will be something like, thanks to our neighbors, we will film some movie, 
be respectful. Thank you for your cooperation. I would assume that it's something like this. So we are at the river bank of East River. On the right side you can see ferry station. It's Long Island City Station. Yeah, and you can go from here to Astoria further or you can go to the uh, Brooklyn and I think it's in Williamsburg near the Domino Park you can see a Pepsi Cola sign that's because Pepsi Cola has had their office here in New York they're still in New York but in New York State they moved somewhere upstate, I don't remember exactly where. And here is Manhattan skyline for you. I'm going a, bit, a little bit against the sun, so hopefully you'll see something on the camera. And this park called Gentry Plaza State Park. That's the place where you'll have a ton of people when it's warm. Everyone's coming here, having picnics, just chilling by the water. You cannot swim here, obviously. Like, you cannot swim nowhere in New York City, I guess. I mean, in Hudson River and East River. You can see some duck over there eating a mask for some reason and you can see more high rises here I like this park. You can see that not a lot of people here and it's not as crowded during the summertime too. <laughs> Trying to see if I can get a nice shot from here. Yeah. Sun gives me trouble. I like these benches, they are comfortable.
And here's the place where you can put your hammock on. Or during the summer at the park, you'll put out there hammocks. And this cold looking building is a library, Queen's Public Library. You can come inside and register and get some books. But I think that you can do that only if you are a New York City resident. You can see here one of the trucks that says film, television, theater. So, and they have all the equipment there. I think that they are done with the shooting for today. There is another building, apartment building where people live. <laughs> I don't see Fiat's that often in New York. It's a very small car. That's a new building right here. They just removed scaffoldings recently, so probably another six months to a year before people will be able to live here. You can see that there is a mix of old and new buildings here, but they are not tall, just a few stories. Oh, 
We will turn left here on the Vernon Boulevard. It's a good pizzeria right here. Not the Italian one, American, but the best of American pizzas here. You also probably seen this neighborhood featured in a lot of movies, like the latest Spider-Man. His aunt was living on the riverbank here in Long Island City. So we'll turn right here. There is a CrossFit gym right here. You cannot see much, but when it's warm, it's open and you can see people there training. And here is a perfect display of how mixed in terms of buildings this neighborhood is. You see this new, obviously new building and right beside it is very old building. Even windows are crooked in it.
you can see very typical fire escapes here and there it has some academy for young minds I don't know what that academy is I haven't seen it before or I was not just paying any attention to that Another interesting thing that I wanted to show to you is right there on the top of the roof. I don't know if you can see that properly, but that's a Statue of Liberty. Just a small one. And the brick building right there, that's a branch of Museum of Modern Arts. It's called Momao PS1. And according to this sign, this building was previously first world school. That was an entrance for girls. And the entrance to the museum itself will be on the other street. You'll need to go to the right, right here. And you will be able to enter that. I have a few more things I wanted to show to you. That's a church right here. Church of Christ, Iglesia de Cristo. There is a small Murray Park right here. You can walk your dog there. There is a soccer field there, some playgrounds. One of the few parks here in Long Island City. And here is another church, New York Central Korean SDA Church. And we are entering a historic neighborhood of Hong Island City. You'll see all the beautiful buildings here.
and here's a sign explaining what is going on here and it's called Hunters Point Historic District. You see that it looks a lot like Park Slope or Brooklyn Heights. All these elevated entrances here. This one was renovated, looks new and nice. It's not like old building here looks not good, they, they look nice too, but the new one looks even better. Right here is the subway line and this subway station is called Court Square. Yeah, it's pretty noisy in here in this part of the city. Or not the city, the neighborhood, sorry. No parking. No. And here is the same. That's like a signature sign I want. <laughs> it's okay. Not everyone can find a G. There are new businesses here are opening soon. Some gym and some restaurant. Korean fried chicken. And one last interesting building here is in the background. I'll cross the street a little bit further to show it to you from the closer distance. But if you are a fan of Marvel's Jessica Jones, you will know what that building is. That's a court building. And they got a few episodes featuring this building. Supreme Court of the State of New York. That's the official name.
So if you are here and you want to catch some movie filming, come to Long Island City. There is always something filming in here. And you can see more construction, more high rises. And starting from here, this part of the Long Island city is much more alive. You will find a ton of businesses here. This cute little park here. But the downside is that they are constantly building something new here and it's much more noisy. And this place, Xi'an Famous Foods, is really good if you like spicy food. It's a chain, so you can find them not only here, but that's my go-to noodle place. Ah, oh, you can see scaffoldings on both sides of the street so I will turn here this is Tacombi not my favorite Mexican place A trash pile, nothing new.
and you can see more construction here. Some paper on the street. I don't know what happened. And I think that's it for today. I have much more places here to show to you. But I'll leave it for the next time. Thanks for watching. I have memberships now, so if you want, you can support me. Or you can say super thanks to me. But that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.